Welcome to the GoDaddy Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania from Lad Peeble Stadium in Mobile, Alabama. Tonight, the first ever bowl game for Georgia Southern, matching up with the Mac Champs from Bowling Green. 25 first downs this year. Johnson has time behind his veteran offensive line. And he fires it. It is complete to a sliding Roger Lewis. They give him credit for it for a first down gain of 12. Third down and six for Bowling Green. Johnson has it all day. Deep ball for the first time and incomplete. Georgia Southern prepared for this offense. Their coaches tell us this Bowling Green offense will take at least three deep shots a quarter. Wesley Fields and Matt Breida in the backfield for Georgia Southern, the nation's best rushing team. And it's the quarterback, Ellison, who keeps it, and he's got room able to slither his way to a gain of 14 on first down. Well, just a little misdirection already with the option attack. Offense. They want to run the clock down as long as they can, try to help out their defense a little bit. Quarterback keeps it again. Now the pitch and room on the edge for Georgia Southern. And Derek Keaton, who's got a first down in the midfield. They've gone for it 29 times this season and converted 62% of the time. Bowling Green shows blitz. Here comes an extra man, and they throw it for the first time. Out to Wesley Fields. Fields has a first down. He's inside the 30. They rarely throw the football, but when they do, they got guys who can make you miss again at 17. Excellent receiver out of the backfield. True freshman in Wesley Fields. They blitz. He's able to pick it up, and a nice job by Kevin Ellison of seeing the blitz. Already 39 yards rushing for Ellison to start this game. Ellison will cut it back up again, and he takes it to the five. And a bump dives for the pylon, and no signal. They'll say he's out just inside the one. Eiler Hardy, the Notre Dame transfer, came up from a safety spot for the hit. It is... A first down for Georgia Southern just outside the goal line. And a change of quarterback, Fabian Upshaw has entered now. He's in the backfield with L.A. Ramsby. Ellison went out holding his arm with the trainer. First touch in the pitch to Ramsby. He's in. First goal, first possession, first touchdown for Georgia Southern in the FBS postseason. It's L.A. Ramsby who takes it in. Well, his 13th touchdown run of the year. Fabian Upshaw comes in, does a nice job of putting pressure on the defense. It's easy. Let me just flip it and let Ramsey do the, do the work here. Nice job of finishing the run. A nine-play, 78-yard drive, eight, four minutes and 34 seconds off the clock, and that will be a key for their offense tonight. Young Waku with the extra point. It is good. Georgia Southern on its first possession of its first ever bowl game. Marches down the field against Bowling Green and Punches it in with the option pitch. It was Upshaw to Ramsby. And the Eagles with a hot start. They're going to run it down inside of 10 seconds on the play clock each and every time. It really puts some pressure on Bowling Green. On second and eight, Johnson pulls it back and fires complete to Roger Lewis. And this is the basis of Bowling Green's offense. These run pass options to open up receivers. Yeah, there's that range I talked about with Roger Lewis. 900 yards receiving with five touchdowns to go along with it. Third down and four. Short of the first down is Fred Coppett. He picked up three. And if you know, this holds true to form, Dino Babers is instilled in Matt, Mike Lynch as well as Sean Lewis, the co-offensive coordinators. They cross the 50-yard line. All four downs are in play. They've converted 56% of their fourth downs this season. Fourth and one. Bad snap. Johnson able to corral it. Fakes a throw. Pulls back. Launches downfield for Lewis. Roger Lewis will take it in on a fourth and one play. They add them the way to a 45-yard touchdown pass. Boy, the bad snap. It was supposed to have been a handoff. They've got so many things built in. Then Johnson, excuse me, yeah, Johnson makes it look as though he's going to run the football. They've got leverage and him covered up. White takes one look back inside, and it's too late. Roger Lewis, with too much speed and agility, he's not going to catch it. Tyler Tate on for the extra point. 
and it's blocked by Georgia Southern. Chance for a soup, scoop and score. Picked up by Matt Dobson. He's got the sideline and a cowboy. Are we having fun yet? Two the other way. A 95-yard return. Darius White blocked it. Matt Dobson scooped it up. Through the years, this bowl has been known for some crazy plays. Instead of being tied on the extra point, Darius White rejects it, and Matt Dobson takes it to the hard way. Georgia Southern up 9-6. to six. Didn't help that he ran into one of his own guys at the exchange. L.A. Ramsey now in at running back. Blitz coming for Bowling Green on third and nine. Upshaw in trouble again, and he finds the sideline again. Terrence Bush brought the pressure that time. There very few times where Georgia Southern would be in a predictable passing situation because they run it so often, but that time Bowling Green is able to tee up some pressure. Yeah, get things turned around. A nice season for Southern Miss this year. Up once, and a deep ball. That one's complete for Bowling Green all the way to midfield to T.O. Redding. They've tried to find him a couple times. That one goes for 25. Starts on the offensive line. Johnson pulls it back. Strong arm to the outside. It's bobbled by Garrett Dieter, and he's able to haul it in while absorbing the hit from Caleb Williams, a gain of 14. Third down and eight. Bowling Green just two of five on third down tonight. They go for the screen, and it's incomplete. Helmet popped, and we got a flag. Ronnie Moore lost his helmet on that big hit. It's Tay Hicklin. One of the safeties. He may have gotten a flag thrown at the, at the tail end of this for a taunt. You see him here. A, looks like a legal hit. Over the shoulder. It was below the shoulders of below the, the shoulder. Receiver. I was thinking it, it's for more for the taunt than it would be for targeting. Well, that flag came out immediately. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, or 14, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic, first down. That's a tough, tough call because you have to make that really, really quick. But uh, I, I think he was right in this call. That was a little late. The defender should have recognized that the ball was in play. And the end result, Ronnie Moore is able to take it in for a 15-yard touchdown run. It's actually a pass for Matt Johnson. A little touch pass to Moore and able to take it in. So instead of facing a fourth down, it was an automatic first down plus 15 yards, and that set this up, Andre. Yeah, just an end around to Ronnie Moore, and you just flip it to him. You see Baylor run this, other teams that have... You know, kind of cast offs of our Bryle system. They run it, it's just a touch pass on the move to Ronnie Moore where he catches it in momentum going towards the line of scrimmage. And once he outflanks the defense, it's tough to catch it. Tyler Tate with the extra point. After the previous one was blocked, and that makes it a 13 to 9 game. Greg, thanks for being with us. We appreciate you sharing your insight on that play, but we'll certainly have you on throughout this broadcast tonight. After the personal foul penalty, touch pass for Matt Johnson. It's, and Ronnie Moore. It's a nice little escort out in front of him in the form of Travis Green, the unselfish running back. Hadn't touched the ball a lot tonight, but we take a look into the future. They're all back next next year. Ellison, Upshaw, Ramsby, Rita, Fields, all of them are coming back, the entire backfield. Ellison keeps it on third and short, and he gets stuffed. A loss of one. What has been the biggest surprise so far? Well, just, just the whoop of it, you know. The Southern War coming up north, you never know what to expect, and it's been unbelievable, and I really just can't wait to get started. Yeah. You guys know all about Southern boys, Tom. All right, thanks, Laura. And you can expect Garrett Dieter to come up for a big play every now and then, and that's a 51-yard scoring strike. And I tell you what, Mike Jenks has to love that. He won't have Matt Johnson back next year, but he'll have Dieter, the wide receiver, along with Ronnie Moore and Roger Lewis, so a lot 
left in the cupboard with a new head coach. They didn't waste any time on that scoring drive. When Mike Jenks took the job, he told his new athletic director, we can run some plays. We'll run faster than you guys do. And the AD finally called him back because I checked the numbers. You're right. Texas Tech ran one more play a game on average. And this is the quick, quick strike capability. Matt Johnson with three touchdown passes now in this game. Roscoe Bird, the right guard, the UAB transfer. Center and two guards. They want to work some in, work some things inside now. Option pitch. Frida finds the edge. And he's got the sideline. Frida finally cut down at Bowling Green territory. There's the first big play for the kid with elite speed. It goes for 36 before Hardy brought him down. Yeah, playing at less than 100 percent But what a read by quarterback Kevin Ellison here. Working the edges, pulling the defense to him, attacking. If he just kind of meanders out there, they can play in the gray area between the pitch man and the quarterback. But he attacks the edge, forces the defender to take him, and then that gives the edge to Matt Breida. Going to stymie some of the, the momentum that Bowling Green has. Ellison gives it up. Ramsby just trips up, and he's got enough for the first down. Trent Green got a piece of him but couldn't bring him down before the marker. McGee Go for it on fourth down. You see the ball control here and just killing it in terms of time of possession. That was expected, though. That number really only matters to Georgia Southern. Bowling Green has shown they can score at will at any time. Here's Wesley Fields with the cutback and the open field. Touchdown Eagles on a 26-yard run from Wesley Fields. Doug Roos talked about Wesley Fields and the future he has. You see here, starting to the right, puts, puts that right foot in the ground and changes directions. And he had everybody flowing to the defense's left. When he changed direction, there was no one there between he and the end zone. A nice gamble that paid off on fourth down for Dale McGee. Extra point is good from Young Way Koo. We've got a four-point game. Seventh touchdown of the season for Wesley Fields. Great vision to bend it to the outside. Capping a seven-play, 75-yard drive. Play clock in single digits for Bowling Green. That's a rarity. The Georgia Southern fans all on their feet. Johnson fires, and it's knocked away. Tay Hicklin with the big-time play and momentum on the side of the Eagles. We talk about an emotional player. He's made a, He's the guy that had the big hit on Ronnie Moore, but here in pass coverage is a nice job coming through without making contact. One thing you don't see a lot, big Andy Kwan inside, left-handed snapper. This many centers that snap the ball left-handed. He's out front blocking here on another draw, and Ellison is able to pick up the first down. And most option attacks you see, you watch Navy play, everything pretty pretty much is under center. You watch Georgia Tech under center. This is a little bit different way of getting to, uh, to the option. Four-man rush, another passing opportunity over the middle, complete! A first down and a big lick on B.J. Johnson. Georgia Southern moves the chain on that gain of 17. Said Kevin Ellison couldn't throw a dime over the middle. Nice job of not only delivering the football, but stepping up into the pocket to shoot one to B.J. Johnson. Collective. He knew this moment wouldn't be too big for him. And he's made some, some good decisions, nice decisions throughout this game. Fourth and five, pressure coming. Ellison able to escape. Now he steps and throws. Launches it deep. End zone. Touchdown. Monte Crockett on fourth and five. A 31-yard heave. We saw Matt Camp, Matt Johnson do it. Why not? Perfect job of improvising by Kevin Ellison. A broken play. He turns it into a big-time touchdown pass. Keeping your eyes 
down the field playing through the whistle. Young Wei Ku for the extra point. And that capped a 12 play, 92 yard scoring drive on the catch by Monte Crockett, the junior from Rock Hill, South Carolina. His first catch of the season. I'll tell you what, just watch the elusiveness of Kevin Ellison here. Makes one defender miss, then he's going to get outside the pocket. The presence in mind does just look. Take a look. Let me see if I got something down there. And on the end of it, Monte Crockett reeling in his first touchdown catch of the year. He'll grab a quick score and for an easy score here before the half. And by the way, he's got the wind at his back. To the ground game. And Travis Green breaks free. High steps his way down the sideline and finally shoved out of bounds by Matt Dobson. Forget about the aerial attack. We just see two on the ground for Green. We let a little bit of this time run down. Here's Green again, moving the pile, and he pushes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Travis Green from five yards out. And Bowling Green needs less than a minute to answer. 51-second drive. Alex Huddle, Ryan Hunter, the two guards, do a nice job inside. Jacob Bennett pulling around as well from his left, left tackle spot. They get enough push and leverage to free up Travis Green. It made it look easy. So Bowling Green back in front. Tyler Tate for the extra point. He's had one block tonight. Punches that one through. Five plays, 66 yards and 51 seconds off the clock. Travis Green... The senior running back. Yeah, here's the draw play. They free up the middle of the field, do a nice job of working inside. Jacob Bennett with a block that frees him up. And then it's just his speed and athletic ability to get himself down inside the red zone. Here's the touchdown run. Nice job of just churning inside to get in. The loss of 10. Upshaw with the option, pitch man covered, so he takes it himself, and he's able to get up the sideline on a big gain of 17. Tenth play of the drive, the previous nine have all been on the ground. Campbell in motion, they're going to throw for the first time this drive, and it's a deep out complete nice. for a first down. That's Keegan Williams with the grab, a gain of 17, only his third catch of the year. A long drive, 12 plays, 54 yards. Bowling Green's had to sub in some of their second string guys now. Here's Fields, slips through. Wesley Fields inside the 10. And he lowers his shoulder to get inside the 5. 18-yard run for Fields, another big play for the Eagles. Well, he's well on his way to winning the Eagle Yards Award for, for Dale McGee as he breaks tackles here, a couple of extra yards after initiating the second contact. First and goal, Georgia Southern looking to reclaim the lead. Option. Upshaw keeps. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Eagles back in front on the three-yard run. What an excellent block on the edge by James Dean. The tight end just chops down the edge and made it an easy, just paved an easy route to the end zone for Fabian Upshaw. Watch number 33. Right here, the kick down, the block right there going low. That's what frees up the quarterback to just walk into the end zone untouched. That was a seven and a half minute drive. 14 plays to cover 75 yards in Georgia Southern. Up by a field goal. Their calling card is the option. Fabian Upshaw with his third rushing touchdown of the season to the delight of Del McGee. We're talking with Sean Lewis, the offensive coordinator, co-offensive coordinator with Mike Lynch. He said, hey, should we expect something? He said, yeah, why not? What are they going to do, fire me? <laughs> it's like my quarterback's <laughs> going to be in my ear all game to try and no mix doubt. it up. Here comes a safety blitz. They get the screen away and room for Ronnie Moore. Moore rips off the 23-yard gain on the catch and run. 
Antoine Williams finally brought him down. Safety blitz. Where's the voided area? Right in the middle of the field. And you, so you know you got man-to-man. -man. Everybody just picks off someone. Excellent job by Ryan Hunter, the left guard, to come out and pick off a defender. And but even if he wasn't down in right. terms of having his knees down, he, I wonder if the forward progress had been stopped. Five men in routes here. Johnson trying to spin free, and he gets dropped. Ironhead Gallon, first sack of the night for Georgia Southern. It's a loss to me. And he's got tremendous speed, Tom. Watch 27. He delays the blitz, sees the opening, and now it's just me and the quarterback. Most coaches would be cringing at fourth and ten. They've already converted one fourth down. It went for a touchdown tonight. Here's Green. Nowhere to go. He only found a yard. And Georgia Southern with the stop. Govan with another big play. He's been a maestro here in the second half. Brita and Fields in the backfield. Upshaw straight ahead. Baby and Upshaw. World-class speed. And the foot race belongs to the quarterback. 80-yard sprint. 4.3 speed in the 40 and you see why he's left in the game right up the middle watch the play fake everybody's going with Brita it's clean untouched now it's just a foot race by Fabian Upshaw nobody on the field is going to catch that young man seven rushes 111 yards and two touchdowns career long run for the red shirt junior Fabian Upshaw. The only downside, the record won't stand. This sprint was wind aided. Fabian Upshaw takes it 80 yards straight ahead, and Georgia Southern adds to its lead. Pressure, now it's a two score game, but a lot of pressure on Bowling Green to have to go get points. Touch pass. Wow, big play! Chris De La Rosa, loss of five, perfectly scouted, he devoured Scott Miller. Three-man line now, ball lost by Johnson, Georgia Southern falls on it. Just slipped right out of his hand. And if you played the position of quarterback, it's happened to everybody. If it hadn't, it's going to. We see it here that the play fake inside the green, and it just comes right out. And, it, and it's it could easily happen on a night like this when the elements are less than ideal. This comes right out of his hands. Dardo Govan has made some big plays tonight, but this is this is tough for Bowling Green if Georgia Southern gets in the end zone here. Option, Upshaw, great footwork, and it gets taken down at the one. 13-yard carry, Terrence Bush with the stop. Just playing some unselfish football. Upshaw with the pitch to Brita. He's got room. Touchdown, Matt Brita. 17 touchdown of this season for Brita. If I'm giving him MVPs or if I'm giving game balls tonight, I'm giving it to James Dean, number 33, who threw a block for Fabian Upshaw to get in the end zone the last drive. This time it's for Wesley Fields, excuse me, Matt Brita to get himself into the end zone. We'll come back and take a look at that. The, the outside chopped out block by James Dean. Is paving the way for guys to get in the end zone. Two high scoring teams meeting tonight in Mobile, but it's Georgia Southern who's hung 44 on the board. Watch number 33 come into your screen right here. This block right here that takes place. Watch the chop down block. That allows Matt Breida to walk into the end zone. Get to the edge to make defenders miss, but. Ball's on the ground again. Oh Johnson tried to pull it back on the run pass option and couldn't hold on to it. Georgia Southern football. Oh, 
Oh boy. We talked about it. One of the keys to this game was to handle the weather. Handle the conditions. And right now they're getting to Matt Johnson. A fumble the previous drive there. Ball handling. Not secure. It comes out of his hands again and sets up Georgia Southern at point blank range once again. Nardo Govan with his second fumble recovery. What a game for a guy who's had to deal with injuries. Last year against Georgia Tech, his knee got shredded in the third game of the season. He was lost for the year, formerly a tight end. They moved him to the defensive side of the ball. He's got a great week of bowl preparation and is paying off tonight. Two offense has to finish yeah. this drive, but Bowling Green can score in punches. True sign of leadership right there. Understands the game. Here's the option. Upshaw again in. Eight-yard touchdown run, his third touchdown of the night. Oh, nice big, nice block by Darian Foreman, the left guard, who pulls around. They get tired of using James Dean, I guess, to chop people down on the edges. They pull the big fella, Damian, or Darian Foreman around. A first-team all-sunbelt player to pave the way for Fabian Upshaw. And so it's a 51-27 to 27 advantage for Georgia Southern. This is a team that won six FCS national championships. Their first ever bowl game, and they're in control. Plenty of time on the clock. See that drive chart for Georgia Southern. Yeah, they're scoring a goal. They're doing it quickly. Now complete. Great one-handed grab by Ronnie Moore. Wow. Targeted eight times, only three catches. Travis Green motions out of the backfield. Johnson complete. Great hands by Ronnie Moore. He's been reliable tonight. 30 consecutive games of the reception for the junior Moore. He is put together. Johnson chased on third and long. And he flicks it behind his head as he's being brought down by Govan, who's been a monster. You talk about some closing speed. 6'2", 250 pounds. And can really disengage and watch the speed. There's a knee brace. You, you talked about the knee injury last year, but still able to track down Matt, Kent, Matt Johnson. Third and less than a football. Remember, they never go under center, so out of the shotgun with fields behind it. Fields, try to make a move behind the line, needed less than a yard, but didn't get it. In fact, he may have lost a yard. So, fourth down, up 51-27. First down, the chains moving. He's got plenty of time left in this game. Only 59 yards in the second half for Johnson. Batted away, Caleb Williams. Not Terry Hunter. How about him? Well, the game that he's played out on the corner. Hero of the game with another big run. Fabian Upshaw rips off 12. Alfonso Mack for the stop. Yeah, I thought he was going to do it earlier in a short yardage situation when they ran. I think it was Wesley Fields, and he came up short of the season. It led in the second half of the first time in that series history. They ended up losing in overtime after going for it on fourth and goal. Here's Ramsby. Pass midfield down to the 45 yard line, 15 yard run. This is a senior class that's been part of an undefeated conference championship in the Sun Belt. The Lord just learned that he's out with a left hand injury. Had a great first half. Here he is, the man of the moment, Fabian Upshaw. He's got the angle and the speed, and he's in again. 42 yard run for a touchdown run of the night. And Andre's buying lottery tickets later. <laughs> well, you just knew that everybody's crashing inside. You show it in there, and you got a speedster like Fabian Upshaw that you get him one-on-one. -on -one. If one defender misses, it's over. How about the game that young man has played since coming in? And his roommate, Kevin Ellison, the starting quarterback, first man to meet him on the sideline. To offer congratulations, a career night for Fabian Upshaw. Touchdown runs of three. 80, 
eight. And now 42 yards for the junior from Titusville, Florida. Take it off like a rocket again. And Georgia Southern is cruising. Given the way this thing has played out, 58 points on the board for Georgia Southern. A team that Amazing. lost its finale against Georgia State and was out of rhythm the entire game. Johnson slides down just shy of the first down marker before. But the, the point in the game in which I think they went three or four consecutive drives of putting it in and the ability to take advantage of turnovers. He may be short here on fourth and one. If he is, it'll be the second time Bowling Green has turned it over on downs. We are talking with some of the Bowling Green guys yesterday. Taylor Royster, their fine defensive end. And, and he presented this information as if it wasn't that big a deal, but asked point blank, yeah. have you guys seen the option ever? Have you gotten much practice against it? He's like, no. Finn Navy all season long. Well, right, but the difference is for a coach like that, you know you have an option team on your schedule. Bowling Green didn't. Yeah. And it's another big stop yeah. on fourth down for the Georgia Southern defense. Another turnover on downs, and they can salt away the last 335. Even with a couple of weeks to prepare for this type of offense, it's tough. It's tough to get yourself ready. On third and 13, Upshaw for good measure. Upshaw and Georgia Southern knock off Bowling Green 58 to 27. Go Daddy Champs in their first ever bowl game. And the man of the hour, Fabian Upshaw, 12 carries, 199 yards, averaging 16 and a half yards per carry, and four touchdowns on the ground. Once again, our final score: Eagles 58, Bowling Green 27. Coming up next at Sports Center. Tune into the post game trophy ceremony by Capital One. Coming up next on ESPN3. Good night. Merry Christmas from Mobile.